Dante Williams here at the McLaughlin Center for a women's basketball doubleheader. First up is the University of Providence coming off their upset win over number four Indiana Wesleyan as they will be hosting Northwest University in this one. Ashley Maldonado getting things going right off the tip. She gets into the lane for the right-handed scoop and score off the glass for the first bucket of the game. And down on the other end, Kyron Blacklum spots up for the corner three and knocks it down. But that early 3-2 lead was the only time Providence trailed in this one. Heating up from outside, Monique Carter hits Maddie Dixon and she puts in a triple of her own for the Argos. That one puts them up by six, but the lead just kept growing. Maldonado on the feed inside to Kiana Salavea and three defenders just isn't enough to stop her from scoring inside. Argos in transition. Kobe Pemberton hits nothing but net from the corner three to extend the lead to 17. And Providence cruised to victory in this one by a large margin, improving to 2-0 on the young season. The latter of the two games is MSU Northern coming off their season opening win playing against Corbin University. The Skylights control the pace from the start. Savannah Toms takes the feed inside and utilizes the pump fake to get the finish. And going to work for the Warriors is Maddie Godwin. She goes baseline and finishes on the reverse. Warriors only trail by four. And a couple plays later, Autumn Agnew is left alone in the corner and she lets it fly. Her triple is good, but it was all skylights from there on out. Mackenzie Long gives it up to Cheyenne Crass and she wastes no time putting it up and knocking it down to extend the skylights lead to double digits. Northern built a 45-29 lead going into the break and they never looked back as they went on to win their second straight game. In Great Falls, I'm Dante Williams, MTN Sports.